Hey guys, so this is the second vlog on the Entrepreneur Life series where I talk about my journey into creating a lot of value in the world through creating a company. Today we're going to talk about how my product development is, is going and the two most important books you need in order to start your startup. This is Broke to Beast, where we make videos about starting your own business, online or offline, as well as follow along my own journey. Before we start, if you like entrepreneurship and business content, make sure you go down below and subscribe because we post videos every day. So if you watch my first vlog, you know that I'm creating a company that is called, well now it's called Gift Expert, which purpose was to create a process of finding the best gifts for your friends or loved ones. So you would go through this quiz where you answer a few questions about the person you were giving your gift to, about their interests specifically, and you would receive a list of results for that the, the most optimal results for that person. However, I did some research and I just searched on Google what are the best gifts that people receive. And I read a few papers on people that examine a lot of studies and the conclusion was that the best gifts that people receive are usually the ones that they're expecting or the ones that they really want, which means that wish lists are much more valuable than simple generators, which even if they're connected to the per person's interests, most of the time they're not the real gifts that pe people want. So usually the person who gives the gift is looking for that reaction in the person. But the person that is receiving actually only cares about the long-term value of that of that gift. So imagine the person is looking for a new phone. If you give them the phone, they'll find it that much more valuable than a simple t-shirt that might be connected to your hobby. For example, t-shirt about snowboarding if they like to snowboard, but in the long term they won't really find it valuable. That's why I decided to switch my strategy and went into more gift lists and wish lists web platforms. So I started searching online and I did find quite a few competitors. I realized it wasn't the best idea because it was quite hard to find a revenue model that was sustainable. Basically there was no, people obviously wouldn't pay for that service to have a wish list because there are multiple, multiple free lists including Amazon's wish, universal wish list. So which means there's a lot of competition and it's not really the business model that results in more money. Therefore, I decided to go in a different pathway and go into more of a crowd crowdfunding platform and mix both of these subjects. So I started looking at what crowdfunding platforms there were out there. And of course, we have GoFundMe and Indiegogo and Kickstarter. And they all do have their different versions. But what I wanted to focus on most was the aspect of gift giving and group gifting and there are a few websites that do this but or they poorly made websites with not a lot of user experience or there are websites that are more geared towards e gift cards which means I believe there's an opportunity in that so I set up a WordPress website and I put in a few plugins and I'm, I'm I have my MVP that is almost ready to to go out to the market the second topic that I want to talk about is the two most important books you need in order to start your startup. So before you start reading a bunch of books about entrepreneurship and how to build a business, think about what actually actual information you need right now. Maybe you need some legal information or how to start the product development and the marketing side of your business. Whatever information you need, choose one book per topic so you spend the least amount of time but you learn the most. It's currently I don't need any legal advice so the two most important topics that I need are how to do product development and how to build a product and how to get it out in the market and prove that it actually has any potential. Not, all, not only so I can know that I can keep going with the project, project or that I can maybe find an investor. So. The first book that I recommend is Lean Startup. This is a book I read a long time ago and it's a really good book which talks about how to create a, a product in a very fast amount of time so you can get it out into the market and test it and see what kind of response you get from the market. Because if you build something for six months and you think it's going to work but then 
it actually doesn't because people don't care about it and you solve the problem with the wrong solution, then basically you just wasted a big amount of time. So you have to search, you have to have a product market fit by creating an MVP, a minimal viable product, sending it to market as soon as possible through tactics that I'll, I'm going to share in the next suggestion of a book. And as soon as you have feedback from your customers, you need to create a platform or a product that will solve that customer's issues so you can start scaling from there. The second big book that I'm going to recommend is Traction, which I'm still reading right now. It's, it's a short book, 150 pages, but it's a really cool book about how people think that Lean Startup is the only book you need, but actually you need more than the Lean Startup in order to be successful. Because usually people think that in a startup is all about the product, product, product. A, and then don't, they don't think about what's the actual way that you're going to take that product and present it to your customers. So this book is very good because it talks about how you can actually get your product into the hands of your customers, virtually or not, and what are the best ways that you can do that. So what they recommend is basically you need to have a 50% concentration on the product development and 50% concentration on the traction, what's the, what they call traction. So the marketing channels that you need to create growth for your product or your enterprise. So there's the basic idea of the book is that you need to create a bullseye framework where there are three rings and you need to select three channels from the 17 or 19 different channels that they provide. So for example, Facebook advertising, social media advertising, right? Search engine advertising, for example, um, PR, you can get blogging. There's tons of things that you can do, email marketing. And so you have to choose the three most that you think are the most applicable to your business and that will actually help you grow in the beginning stages so that you can start getting traction with your product. As soon as you ch choose those three, you test one at a time to find a single one that will actually provide you with the initial growth that you need. After that growth tactic uh, subsides, when the sales starts going, start going down, you have to find a new growth tactic so, so you can stay, take your startup to the next level. So it's a, it's a really great concept, the bullseye framework, because in the center there's the basic three, the ones that you think are the most applicable to your business, and then the more you go out, the less valuable you think those traction channels would be for your company so make sure you guys go check out those two books they're awesome in terms of how to help you in your first steps in your business make sure to concentrate on getting 50 percent from each side the marketing and the product development and make sure to test your stuff fast to see if you can get a product market fit and grow it from there anyways i hope this helped and I'll keep posting updates on what I'm doing. I'm currently finishing my MVP, so I'll soon start to get some traction channels and see what kind of response I get. If you like this video, make sure you go down below and please leave a like. And also subscribe because we post videos sometimes every day, sometimes, every day, sometimes not. I'm going to keep doing these vlogs so I can keep you guys along with me on my journey. And also to look back one day and see how I started. Anyways, I hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Peace.